Hey Scott, hey everyone else, welcome back to Four Running Shoes. Congrats Scott on your first marathon, it was awesome to come and watch you do that. It looked like a very hard marathon, hard work for you to finish, but yeah, it's a huge accomplishment that you conquered the mountain and yeah, got it done. Despite how difficult it was, um, yeah, you did a great job and yeah, it was awesome that, you know, a lot of people would have given up, but yeah, you stuck with it, which is really awesome. So yeah, great job, man. Um, and yeah, I'm excited as well because in l oh, about two weeks or less than two weeks, um, I have my first proper event of the year, which is going to be Wings for Life. It's really just a fun sort of run. Um, it's not any, any particularly, well, it is actually a very big event. It's a global event uh, that's run all at the same time around the world and they live stream it online. Red Bull puts it on and they live stream it online and you're kind of competing worldwide rather than just at a specific event. Um, and so you use an app to run it. And in Melbourne, unfortunately, they don't have a proper, like they call them flagship runs, um, but they do have an app run that I did last year at um, one of the universities here in Monash. And basically you just run around laps of an oval or a route. Um, I think this year it's sort of a three kilometer lap that you do and you just keep doing laps until um, your race is finished. Um, but the actual premise of it and the way that they run flagship races is that they'll have a course that yeah it goes on for quite a long time and you basically start your run uh, as normal but the finish line catches up to you rather than you getting to the finish line so a car will start half an hour after your race starts and it will slowly start catching you it starts at like 15 kilometers an hour and then it probably goes one kilometer an hour faster for every uh 30 minutes it'll increase the speed um and so yeah before long it'll be going a lot faster than anyone can run and it'll slowly start overtaking people as the hours tick by. So yeah, it's an endurance event. It's a speed event. It's actually a lot of fun. I've done it a lot of years now, actually. Um, I've done it twice, I think, as a proper flagship run, where it used to run down a highway here in Melbourne. Um, but nowadays they've just done app runs in, in Melbourne. So I've done that the last two years, I think. Uh, I made a video about it. Oh no, I skipped two years ago, but I have done it online twice, I think. Um, and so, yeah, last year I made a video about it. So check that out if you haven't seen it. But I'm going to do it again this year. And hopefully I'll be in better shape than I was last year. I still did fairly well. I think I got around 29 kilometers um, of running, which was good. Um, but I was coming off a big race, my half marathon, um, that I got a PB in an hour and 30 minutes and 24 seconds. You can also check out that video if, if you're interested in that. Um, but that was like a week or two before it and I ran in new shoes and it was just a big race and yeah, my feet were pretty like actually injured from that. And I still ran the, uh, wings for life and they were just killing me the whole race. And I basically was having to walk towards the ends just because I couldn't run anymore because of the pain. But I hopefully won't have any problems like that this year. I'll just be fresh and be able to run like really well. And I'm hoping that that will mean I can put in a really good time, a really good distance, sorry. Um, and so, yeah, I've been thinking about what that distance should be, what my goal should be. And yeah, I always find it hard to sort of like, I don't know, talk about what my goals are because often they can be ambitious. I don't really know if I fully believe in them and to tell other people about them seems like a big deal um, because, you know, what if I get nowhere near that and it just feels, yeah, you know, embarrassing. But that's all in my head, I guess. And so I have been training towards uh, running a marathon for this dis for the Wings for Life, so 42Ks. Um, and I think the minimum pace that I need to run for the for the event would be four minutes and 24 seconds per kilometer in order to hit the marathon distance. I've sort of been training around 420, 422, which would give me a bit of leeway. Um, but 
yeah, we'll see how it goes, really. I expect I can do it for about at least 20 and maybe 30 Ks. I feel confident even at hitting 30 Ks at that pace. But beyond that, I, my own experience of running a marathon at speed was uh, my first marathon last year. And I know I petered out a lot towards the end of that race. But there's some elements of this race that makes me think it'll be a lot easier. So that that would be like running at night. It'll be quite cool, no sun, because I struggle running in the heat a lot. Um, and yeah, the fact that it'll be dead flat because it's just a, a loop around, yeah, three kilometers sort of a loop around the campus. So it should be like almost perfect for like a time trial style um, race. I don't think I could run that sort of pace in a marathon. Like I'm hoping to maybe by October this year, but I couldn't do that if there was any hills or sun or anything like that. So I think this is just a really strange case that maybe I could do something like this. And so that would give me a time in the marathon for three hours and six minutes, um, which is, yeah, ambitious, but we'll see how we go with that. So my training for that so far has been long runs and um, a lot of sort of interval style training. And a lot of my intervals have been quite a lot faster than that. So yeah, hitting even like three minutes 50 per K or yeah, just, and they're generally longer intervals. So I'll do like a three by one K or four by one K or yeah, those sort of style workouts. I did a three by two K recently. Um, that one didn't go as well as I'd like. My first sort of set was at 350 pace and then I dropped off quite heavily. Um, but they all stayed above my race pace, which was good. Um, and then I've sort of started increase, like making my long runs more of a workout style thing as well. So I did one a couple of weeks ago where I ran 25 or 6 Ks, I think, 25 Ks. And I alternated between race pace and easy pace, race pace, easy pace for each kilometer. And that, that was really good, really good workout. Um, and I, I did another one, oh, just a tempo run recently. I did a 10K at race pace at 420 per kilometer. And yeah, that, that went really well. Like, so I did the 10Ks like that and yeah, managed to hold the pace pretty comfortably. I, and I didn't even fuel or anything like that for it. I just did it and managed it. And it was well within my sort of tempo range of running. It wasn't like threshold. Uh, it was a bit above aerobic, which is natural when you're pushing a bit. But yeah, I felt like I could definitely keep running. Um, but whether I could do it four more times or three more times after that. Yeah, I'm, I'm not 100% sure, but I'll give it a go. I think the fun thing about Wings for Life is that there's not really much pressure. So I'm intending to just run at race pace for as long as I can. And then I'll sort of peter out potentially. Um, and so minimum, I want to run 30 Ks and we'll see how much further I can go. I'd be happy with 35, but yeah, really stretching towards that 42 Ks. So we'll see how we go with it. And I think it should be a lot of fun. Anyway, I'll see you in my next video. That'll be the week just before my marathon. And then the week after will be, yeah, my race. So I'm looking forward to sharing that with you. Anyway, I'll catch you guys in my next video.